Mark, your eyes do not deceive you. Tis time for the MST3K Short of the Month Club. That's right, kiddos. It's time for another meeting of the Short of the Month Club. I know there's been some concern that a lot of these shorts are ending up with Emily. And all I can say is, what do you want from me? It's a randomized computer system. I do not make these decisions. Cut me some slack. Let's see what this month's short is. Okay, I see there may be some flaws. This short is also for Emily, but what we lack in variety, we will make up for in education as we learn all about keeping food fresh. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Enjoy. Lovely sign! Brought to you by the King and Queen of Whimsy. Yes, keep guns away from food. Fredericks A through G refuse to participate. They'll kill you with candor. Hmm, looks like another four screwdriver morning. At breakfast. And at other meals. Lesser meals. We like to eat foods that are fresh and clean. And bleached. To keep food this way, Mother, Steve, and Kathy. And the child we don't mention. In their home that you probably do in yours. Like close-up magic. Before eating, they always wash their hands. Cuff me. Well, almost always. I got hungry and ate dirt. How could Steve have gotten his hands so dirty? Pyramid schemes. Oh, well, boys have a way. Steve is While banished. Steve washes his hands, Kathy will get the silverware. Oops, she dropped a spoon. Oops, she's fired. Will she use it anyway? It'll make a great shiv. No, she places it in the sink to be washed again. And pressed. Is this something you would do? Push in a drawer? Yeah, I've dabbled. Later, Kathy pours the milk. Because the cat harvest was bountiful this year. <laughs> as soon as she's done, she returns the bottle to the refrigerator. Where it can be with its own kind. Is this something that you would do? For your country? Now, Steve mm. is ready for breakfast. And father, too. Back from his other family. Father is also <laughs> careful about the food he eats. The sausage looks good. But the eggs look worse. <laughs> and Kathy's missing three fingers. So, he won't eat any more of the sausage. It may be spoiled. Right, Kathy. Often we can tell if foods are good to eat by smelling or tasting them. Or simply by asking them. You should never eat foods if you're not sure they are safe. Kathy, did you wash your fingers before we cooked them? Steve is going to eat some cereal. Aw, Mom burned the cornflakes again. Closing the box after he's done with it helps to keep the cereal fresh. And the demons at bay. Later, when Mother takes out bread for the children's lunch, she closes the wrapper again to keep the bread fresh. For Greg in the back. Mother is going to put some apples in the lunches, too. They're made of wax. But first you wash them. Do you know why she does this? For revenge. The apples may not be clean. Hey, don't shame that apple. Before arriving at our home, apples and other fruits may have been handled by many people, although they shouldn't handle them. Pick me, pick me. When apples are growing on apple trees, they are sprayed with insecticides so that insects will not eat them. And witches won't enchant them. Washing fruits and vegetables helps remove dirt or insecticides that may be on them. It burns. Washing dishes also helps us keep our food fresh and clean. To find out why, let's do an experiment with some leftover mm. food on a plate. <laughs> what do you suppose will happen if the food is not washed off? It will get tattoos and listen to punk music. After several hours, we can see some changes. As hair appears in places it wasn't before. The slices of peach have turned brown. And the lettuce has wilted. And started a jazz trio. 
After several days, we can see some fluffy stuff on the food. <laughs> this is mold. And it's halfway to sentience. The mold growing on the food and germs too small to see may be harmful. Some uh. molds and some germs can make you sick uh. if you eat them. Others will blow your mind, man. That's one reason why we wash dishes so that we don't give mold and germs a place to grow. But where will they go? Now let's see what happens if a bottle of milk is left out of the refrigerator for a long time. And let's make a cow watch. After a day or so, it begins to sour. Sour milk is usually not harmful. If you chew it. But if the milk is left out too long, it can get like this. Mm and may not be safe to drink. But don't take my word for it. That's why it's important to keep milk and other foods that spoil easily in the refrigerator. What about the spoon that fell on the floor? It looks clean, at least until you look at it more closely. Ignore me! Along the edge, you can see bits of dirt picked up from the floor. Dirt may not make you sick. Wink! But it's safer if you don't eat with things that have fallen on the floor until they're washed again. Because dirt can make you sick. <laughs> Washing our hands before eating is important, too. These hands may look clean from here. Whoa! Whoa. But a closer view shows dirt along the tiny <laughs> grooves of the skin. There are germs here, too. The best way to get dirt and germs off your hands is to wash and scrub them well. Preferably till using bloody. Using lots of soap and rubbing it in between the fingers, on the back of the hand, and on the wrist, too. Hmm. Gets them clean all over. Where have those wrists been? <laughs> you don't want to know. This should be done especially before handling food, as at mealtime. See how clean the hand looks now? Please, sir, I want some more. Even when we look at it very closely, dirt and germs that might cause us to get sick have been washed away. Now turn off the light switch and grab the door. Another up. thing you can do to keep germs away from food is to keep it covered. It's quarantined Pac-Man. No, Pac-Man. You have yourself to a piece of cake. Don't forget to put the cover back on when you leave. Or the cake may attract flies. It's fly and the family stone. Do you know that ordinary house flies carry germs on their hairy bodies, feet, and tongues? Up yours, lady. If a fly lands on your food, it can leave harmful germs there. But add texture and flavor. Germs that it may have picked up from waste material and garbage. Mm, I'm starving. When do we eat? Ugh. To keep flies from spreading germs, you can see that it's important to cover a garbage pail, as Mother has done. Every day for the last thousand she years. She the door tightly to keep flies out of the house. And away from Father's open wounds. <laughs> At the school lunchroom, there are other things you can do to keep foods fresh and clean. Don't let the kids in. If you have to sneeze, turn away from the food. Sneeze on someone your own size. And cover your nose so you don't spread germs to the other children or to the food. Tink. Using tongs to handle food is a way to avoid spreading Tink. germs. Using straws sealed in paper wrappers helps to keep dirt and germs out of milk. Plus, it'll kill all four turtles. The milk cartons are kept in a cooler. That works something like the refrigerator at home. Oh, like in the before times. Uh, Even though the children are away from home, they still handle their food carefully. With eating gloves. Watch Steve and see how he eats the lunch his mother prepared for him. When he unwraps his sandwich, he keeps the uneaten half on the wrapper. For the lunch gods. Keeping food on a wrapper or a plate or tray, if you have a hot lunch, helps keep the food and the table clean. And pure. If someone offers you, you a hit? bite of his food, don't eat it if it has touched his mouth. Punch him instead. Sally has a sandwich left over from yesterday. See, no funny business. Kathy would like it. But if it's been out of the refrigerator for so long, it may be spoiled. That's right, Kathy. Don't eat things if you don't know for sure they are safe. 
Say no to leftovers. Don't drink water from another person's glass either. You may get his germs. Blah, I'm gonna barf. Blah. Suppose you drop a cookie on the floor. Five second rule. Things that are dropped, you know, should be washed before eating. But how can you wash a cookie? That's what spit's for. <laughs> well, you'll just have to throw it out. And burn the evidence. Time to return plates, silverware, and glasses, and throw paper into the waste cans. This helps to keep the lunchroom clean. Psst, Soylent Green is people. <gasps> Wherever you are and whatever you do, it will help you to stay healthy if you remember the many ways there are to keep food safe to eat. Keeping food safe to eat is one of our good health habits. You know, when you think about it, we're all made of meat anyway. All right, everyone, smoke them if you got them. In the next film, we cover tick oh, bites. <laughs>